On October 20, 2024, the U.S. Department of Defense DoD, reported that the U.S. Navy's Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyer USS Higgins DDG-76, and the Royal Canadian Navy's Halifax-class frigate HMCS Vancouver FFH-331, successfully completed a joint transit through the Taiwan Strait. This operation, described as routine by both navies, reaffirms their commitment to maintaining freedom of navigation in one of the world's most critical waterways. The Taiwan Strait, a significant channel for global shipping and a symbol of geopolitical tension, is claimed by China as part of its territorial waters, though international law designates it as open to freedom of navigation. This latest transit took place amid heightened military activities in the region, with China having recently conducted large-scale exercises around Taiwan. The presence of U.S. and Canadian warships in the Strait underscores the two nations' commitment to the rules-based international order, particularly in defending the rights to navigate through these disputed waters. The Royal Canadian Navy's HMCS Vancouver, a Halifax-class frigate, has been heavily involved in operations across the Indo-Pacific in 2024. As part of Operation Horizon, this six-month deployment has seen the frigate contributing significantly to international maritime security and stability efforts. The frigate's capabilities and readiness have been crucial in maintaining a Canadian presence in the region, alongside allies like the United States. A notable milestone during its deployment was HMCS Vancouver's participation in a complex missile rearmament in Broome, Australia. This marked the first forward missile rearmament outside North America for a Canadian warship. The rearmament involved loading evolved Sea Sparrow missiles, ESSM, which are vital to the frigate's air defense system, enhancing its ability to defend against airborne threats during operations in the region. Canada's defense and diplomatic relations with China have grown increasingly strained in recent years, influenced by Chinese interference in Canadian affairs and Beijing's assertive stance on Taiwan. While Canada continues to pursue diplomatic dialogue with China, issues like military activities near Taiwan and China's support for Russia have created significant tensions between the two nations. Diplomatic meetings between Canadian and Chinese defense officials in 2024 have largely focused on contentious topics, including China's aggressive military posture in the Taiwan Strait. Despite ongoing dialogue, Canada's participation in U.S.-led naval exercises, such as this recent transit, has drawn strong reactions from Beijing. China perceives these actions as provocations, while Canada views them as necessary to uphold international norms, particularly regarding freedom of navigation. Although Canada adheres to the One China policy, which limits formal diplomatic relations with Taiwan, the relationship between the two is marked by unofficial defense and economic exchanges. Canada has provided military expertise and technology to support Taiwan's naval capabilities, as well as collaborating on cybersecurity resilience efforts. This engagement highlights Taiwan's strategic importance within Canada's Indo-Pacific strategy, particularly in the context of supply chain security and technological cooperation. While military cooperation with Taiwan remains constrained by Canada's official position, there has been a clear recognition of Taiwan as a key partner, especially in areas like economic and technological collaboration. This nuanced stance enables Canada to support Taiwan's security indirectly while avoiding a direct challenge to its diplomatic commitments under the One China policy. The joint transit by USS Higgins and HMCS Vancouver through the Taiwan Strait represents a significant moment in the ongoing strategic efforts by the United States and its allies, including Canada, to maintain freedom of navigation in contested waters. As regional tensions persist, particularly surrounding China's activities near Taiwan, such operations underscore the importance of collective action in defending international norms and supporting stability in the Indo-Pacific. Canada's role, through initiatives like Operation Horizon and its cautious yet significant ties with Taiwan, demonstrates its growing involvement in shaping the security landscape of this critical region.